Magandang gabi mga kapusa. Panuuro natin ang video to. Kung saan ginanap ang unang pagpupulong ni President Bongbong Marcos sa mga opisyal ng Department of Agriculture para mailatag na rin yung magiging plano para sa pagpapaunlad ng ating agriculture. Tara, panuuro natin ang video to. 1, 2, 3, let's go! Very simple as I was beginning to say, uh, we have to attend to the uh, impending uh, food crisis that uh, it seems uh, it will be visiting us uh, in the next two quarters. And every, uh, when we look around the world, everyone is preparing for it. And therefore we, because we are already in a disadvantageous position in terms of supply, uh, food supply, We're already in a disadvantageous position. Uh, we should really pay very close attention to what we can do. I think I think what we have, what we have, uh, the conclusions we've come to here uh, are that we have to increase our production, and we talk a little bit about the ways that we can do it. Uh, we can increase our production of rice and corn at least, and hopefully we. I don't know if we have enough time, uh, but it's a. Uh, pati sa problema ng, ng livestock, ng uh, baboy at saka manok. Uh, we'll see, we, we have to think very hard about making sure that people have the same, have uh, sufficient food, number one, at the price that they can afford. Because again, it's useless to have food if they cannot afford it anyway. Uh, the other side of it is the, on the on the longer term, we need to come up with a multi-year plan, really, to reconstruct our value chain. Uh, and that, for me, is the most important thing. Because habang mag pag nagawa na yan, these are, these are starters. Masagana 150, masagana 200. This, this, these, are, these, these are good plans that we have to put into, into place. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, operationalize them already. Itong pinag-usapan natin, first on the, on the immediate short term, Uh, supply for the rest of the country. Sabihan yun, you, you have, if, if there are EOs that you might need, legislation that you might need, you draft them already and you give them to us. And uh, we'll see kung ano yung gagamitin natin doon. On the longer term, uh, we really have to uh, reconstruct, as I said, our uh, value chain, starting from our scientists and our researchers all the way to the Kadiwa store. So, Uh, we have to remake that model. We have a good model that was from the uh, uh, previous administration, but it's a very different world out there. The technology is very different, and although the concept is still going to be similar, uh, we have to have we have to come up with our own 2022 to 2028 to 2030. Don't be, do not be hesitant to make it multi-year. Because I really don't believe you can you can do this if you you just say one year, three years, even six years. Uh, uh, no, we can do it in six years. So we can do this in less than six years. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so those are the two main elements no, that that uh, that I I, uh, uh, I have been always uh, concerned with. So that uh, again, um, whatever whatever. Ano ba yung hiningi ko sa inyo yung sa uh, uh, rice tarification law uh, reassessment uh, of that RCEP? Give me a, give me a, a short memo on RCEP. Uh, whether or not we should uh, ano it, we should uh, ratify uh, the pros and cons. Yeah, RCEP also. Uh, and then the the programs that we talked about. Uh, just give me a baseline. That, uh, of what has been done, how it's been done, etc. Para alam ko yung yung uh, yung ginagawa na yung tinatrabaho ng ano programa. Um, anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else we need to be? Again, of course, the immediate one is right is rice, corn, food supply for the rest of the year. Number one. So if there are some EOs, again, uh, tignan natin kung may makuha pa tayo. Oh. All right. Okay, thank you very much. That was very thorough. <laughs> Ayun, kung nakarating kayo sa dulo ng video nito, 
pa like, share, and subscribe naman. At pindutin nyo na rin yung notification bell para updated kayo sa akin mga videos na i-upload. Maraming maraming salamat mga kapusa. Hanggang dito na lang ang video to. Ingat tayong lahat. I love you. Bye-bye.